What is up everybody, KillingSpeed37 here with a tutorial on how to make Flash the step-by-step -step process. What you're going to want to do is grab some red squares and cover all the limbs. Uh, it's the easiest thing to do before we get into the hard part, so go ahead and do that now. Don't forget to kind of stretch out the square and also do a spin around to make sure that all areas are covered. Nothing's white, nothing's incomplete and out of order. Next thing you're going to want to do is get a black outline circle and kind of use this as a base to where no other color is going to go inside of it. So what I do right now is I pretty much fill in everything that I can as much as possible. Then we go in with some half moons right here to cover the outer circle of it. Gonna make sure you wanna cover all the white so it doesn't really look that messy, it looks more clean and presentable. Gonna make sure that everything is below that circle outline. Then you're just gonna wanna cover up the white spots that you see everywhere. Uh, that way you can do it now and not later. Do a spin around real quick, make sure everything's covered. If not, just go ahead and hit it with another square. Next thing is going to be the skin tone. Get an orange uh, square. Make sure it's a little bit transparent and put it all underneath anything red. Uh, it just helps it uh, not get disturbed in anything. Then grab a couple shapes that you feel confident with in making the, the eyes in the mask. I use these types of hexagons, just the outlines to kind of have it as a placeholder so nothing gets interrupted. Make sure they're kind of even too, to a level that you like it, otherwise it'll just look stupid at the end. Okay, we're gonna add another one. This one's gonna be for the mouth this time. Looks pretty good right there. Remember, you can adjust these at any time. Uh, I would just try to adjust them as soon as possible before you start doing the red. Then again, just like the circle in the middle, just kind of put red shapes around uh, the thing so it doesn't really uh, stand out as much. Looks pretty good right there. Right here, you're gonna wanna make sure that you get all, this, all the, the spaces covered. You gotta figure out the shapes. Play with some shapes. You might find a better shape than I did, but I did use triangles for these certain areas because they did cover a lot of space and we're hitting the angles to where the mask outline was hitting. It's pretty good. Just keep using triangles. Make sure that the bottom mouth outline is just out above everything else, the red. That way it looks more clean and presentable. go you want to do this now rather than later because this these are the hard parts right here everything else is going to be easy there you go just experiment make sure everything's kind of in the place if it goes a little bit over the design it doesn't matter but it, if it's too noticeable you can kind of fix it later on To get that little gap, I used a arrow. I didn't use a uh, rectangle or a triangle. Triangles uh, stretch out too thin and the rectangles are too thick. So I did use a arrow because it's just thin enough to kind of just fix the bridge of the nose and not overlap anything. Again, we're back to the triangles right here. Put them underneath the eyes. Everything is looking really, really well. So far, everything's looking well. Again. Adjust the mask if you don't like it. Here, I'm just adjusting the bottom because the black is sticking out just a little bit to where I don't like it. But you see when I move it, there's a little bit of gap right there with the red. And if I make the outline too thick, which I duplicate it, it looks kind of dumb. So what I do is just move over the reds over a little bit more. Okay, bring everything that's covered all the way back up. 
the little outlines of the holes for the eyes. Bring those up so they're, you know, looks really nice. So far, everything's really good. Now we're gonna have to get into the a little bit more harder part, which is gonna be the logo, the lightning bolt. I'm gonna give you guys a little moment to just kind of catch up. Okay, we're gonna work on the next easier part, which is gonna be the boots. A, a yellow square and a black square to cover the outline. You can use a normal outline, but I feel that if you use a black square, it gives you a better, thicker, sear uh, type of outline on the boots. The outlines kind of fade and they become a little bit bigger depending on uh, how far you stretch them. There you go. And what you do to one side, you do, the, you do to the other. There we go. Everything looks good so far. All right, we're working on the ears. This one is a to each their own type of moment. Uh, I start off with the black squares for like at the outline of the yellow square that I am about to place right now. Uh, these are the little discs and the lightning bolts that he has on his ears, it's like the antennas for his uh, face mask. And I do use a couple of these diamonds, flip them around and kind of just have them facing any direction and kind of just connect them to where they look a little zigzaggy. Doesn't really have to be perfect, it's really up to you. This process can be a little bit difficult, but I, I kind of find it being essential just to the mask. It doesn't have to match, but it's really up to you on how you place them. way around don't be afraid to duplicate the shapes too and then do it like that don't go back uh, it'll just help you overall with the shape and uh, you won't lose that consistency that you use for the yellow there you go just play it around play around with it until you get it comfortable or as close as comfortable as you can okay, make sure the outlines a little bit thin 
Just looks better. It's more aesthetics than anything else. Just to make that, you know, make it look colorful and uh, detailed as possible. Okay, we're gonna get the last shape right here. There you go. I duplicated it, so it looks pretty nice. Looks a little bit exact. We're gonna head to the lightning bolt on both arms. Uh, use this one right here, this shape right here. Kind of make it a little bit longer. Flip it and kind of do like where they meet, like a triangle. And do that throughout the arms on both sides. It'll be really easy. Just put one, flip it, make sure it looks nice and pointy like a lightning bolt. Then go ahead and switch over a little bit and move over until you're all the way around the arm. And that'll be the armband for both arms. Okay, and once you do to one side, you do to the other. You can try to make them symmetrical as much as possible. They might not be 100% symmetrical, but the closer they are, the better it looks. There you go, a couple more shapes and we should be done. There you go. Now we got a couple spaces left, but so far everything looks complete. 100% very detailed. One of the best flash characters that I've made. This is my second attempt of making it from the original time. You do have a couple leftover spaces, so go ahead and add, you know, a couple things to make certain things pop. So for example, I used the circle outline and the holes for the eyes on the mask, just to make them pop out a little bit more. And it's just more details than anything. Make sure everything's in place. There's no shapes missing. And there you have it, guys. This is The Flash in UFC 3, one of my creations. Thank you guys for watching this. At the end of the video, I'm gonna show you guys the sculpture of the face, so you guys can replicate the face better. Remember guys, if this video helped you out in any way, hit that like button, comment down below, subscribe if you like the content. Anyways guys, I'm out. The champion of the world, Killing Spree 37.